Hi guys, welcome, welcome to Prelims Affairs where we discuss issues from Prelims perspective. Today the issue is Nordic countries or Scandinavian countries and Baltic Sea. Lot of news surrounding this Nordic states as well as Baltic states as well as Baltic Sea. So you should have a very good spatial sense regarding these places. So first, let me tell you what are the Nordic countries or Scandinavian countries. They constitute five countries. It is Denmark or Greenland. Next is Iceland. The next is Norway, Sweden and Finland. So these five put together are known as the Nordic countries or Scandinavian countries. Now, if they give you uh, names of islands, for example, if they give you Foro Islands, Foro Islands belongs to Denmark. So yes, it is also part of Scandinavian nations or Nordic nations. If they give you Aha Land, A A L A N D, Aha Land, then this island also belongs to Finland. So it automatically also is part of Nordic nations. Okay, so in prelims, they can play around with these names of islands. So don't get confused. Nordic countries or Scandinavian countries includes five Greenland or Denmark. The next is Iceland. The next is Norway, Sweden and Finland. These are Nordic countries. The next is you have Baltic states or Baltic countries. Baltic countries or Baltic states are three. You have Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia. These three put together are known as Baltic states. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm talking about these two, I'm sorry, these two parts that is on one part is Scandinavian nations. Another part is Baltic nations is in the 2024 Raisina dialogue that took place in New Delhi. There was a new cooperation that was formed that is known as NB8. NB8 falls for Nordic Baltic 8. That is Nordic countries of five, Baltic countries of three, all coming together and creating a cooperation. The reason why they are creating a cooperation is they are feeling the need for protection and cooperation during the times of geopolitical crisis along Eastern Europe as well as along the Baltic Sea. Eastern Europe, as you know, Russia is aggressively uh, waging a war on Ukraine and in the Baltic Sea, Russia as a border in Baltic Sea. Now, if you observe the Baltic Sea very carefully, Russia as a border in Baltic Sea at two places. One, the country of Russia as its border. After Finland comes Russia that is sharing the border in Baltic Sea. But there is also a small enclave as you call it as Kaliningrad. This Kaliningrad also is a part of Russia. Okay, and because Russia is sharing its border in Baltic Sea, the need or they feel the threat that there is a need to create a grouping for cooperation and collective security and hence comes this NB8 or Nordic Baltic 8 cooperation, which was actually announced in the Resina dialogue of 2024 in New Delhi. Okay, hence these two nations are, uh, I mean these two groupings or these two collective regions are very important. Okay, now with this, you should also learn different spatial aspects from your prelims perspective. Now, because these countries are in news, you have North Sea. So it is very important and pertinent that you understand what are all the countries surrounding North Sea. As you can see, go in one order, clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's up to you. But always make sure that you follow the same order. As you can see, you have Belgium, you have Netherlands, you have Germany, you have Denmark, you have Norway and United Kingdom. These are the nations that border the North Sea. The next is the rivers that drain the North Sea are Elbe, Thames and Rhine. The next is Kiel Canal that runs along Germany connects the North Sea with the Baltic Sea. This is the most busiest artificial waterway. And if you look at Baltic Sea, these are some of the countries that are surrounding Baltic Sea. Look at it carefully. You have Sweden, you have Finland, then you have Russia, then you have Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, which are known as Baltic states. Then you have Russia's enclave called Kaliningrad. Then you have Poland, Germany and Denmark. 
all these countries together are those nations that share their border in Baltic Sea. The reason why it is in news is because as I told you, Finland shares its border with Russia and Finland has accused Russia as pushing migrants from its border to the borders of Finland. That is the reason why it is in news. The second news is Finland became the 31st member of NATO. Sweden, which was trying to become the member in 2024, has cracked it and has now become the 32nd member in 2024. It was being opposed by Turkey and Hungary, but now it has been able to successfully become the part of NATO. And Finland as well as Sweden are now part of NATO that makes geopolitically this region even more important. Okay, along with this, if you take India, there is something called European Free Trade Association. This grouping called European Free Trade Association is a grouping of Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland. Okay, this European Free Trade Association, which is a grouping of these four countries, again, I'll repeat Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland. So these four countries which are part of EFTA are looking to increase their investments into India. They are also looking to sign a free trade agreement with India and are also promised to invest around 100 billion dollars in India. Okay. Again, these countries are again in use in the context of India as well. So in that context, the Nordic countries as well as the Baltic Sea as well as the Baltic states are very, very important from your prelims perspective. So please make sure that you have a very close high of whatever places are in use from this region. I hope it was helpful and I hope you have developed the spatial sense. I'll be back again, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Bye.